Hello lovelies, this is Ariele from the Tree of Life Tarot and now I'm going to look at... Um, I opened the Akashic Records for Frogmore Cottage and I will uh, look at directly, I'll ask the land, I'll ask the building is there anyone living currently in Frogmore Cottage? Is there anyone habitating it? Is there anyone habitating for more cottage? Okay, um, and let's see what is hidden. Or in this case, what we are led to believe. That's the happy family living together in there. Uh, so there's a couple of things that have been coming true for this... Um, um for, for this place um the first one first the first first thing to look at is really uh, where that um uh, building is situated uh it's um in the mid in the middle of a road let's put it this way it's there are roads everywhere uh from feng shui perspective nobody who lives there will be happy and that's the really the, uh, the the lesson here that um it it this is a place that is not built to live in it uh if you want to uh have a party in it or a garden party or something like that yeah that that's totally okay uh but to live in such a place um, it's not going to be happy, it's not going to be united, and especially if you live with your own, um, in, with your own family there, like here, if you live with your own family there, uh, you will not last, you will not last, um, somehow, um, the, the place itself, so, um, the the place itself, um, it it is made to uh, to host like garden parties. Garden parties are okay for that. Meeting with friends, but not friends, but yeah, uh, hosting let's say um, like weddings, maybe um, christening snow, but uh, wedding type of uh, gatherings like uh, an engagement party or baby shower, things like that, you know, happy celebrations for starting something new that are connected, celebrations that are connected with uh, women, uh, women being together. Um, uh, I read uh, through the history of, uh, of, uh, of the property, there is not much of it out there, uh, it's um, um, Princess Charlotte uh, uh, commissioned the building of the place. Um, then a couple of people lived there, but the thing is, none of the people who lived there were happy families, and that's that's really in the fate of of that property. And actually. Um, uh, a general rule of thumb is if you don't like somebody give them gift them uh give them uh as a gift a, a property with bad feng shui because that will set them back in life no matter how good they're doing in life or what it is one bad property with bad you know juju uh, will be there now the property the you know the property the land itself it is not a bad land it's um it doesn't have um uh it doesn't have a um um it it doesn't have um uh, bad vibes uh let's put it this way uh it's just it's not made to live in it it's not made to live in it uh, if you go there for, let's say, um, the weekend or just stop by, yeah, but to live in it, that's not a good thing. Um, 
uh, it will uh, first of all the the property Frogmore Cottage will uh, will make you will make you uh, um, it's a it's a good place to hide from your enemies uh, let's put it this way if you're hiding from enemies for people who are not liking you who are not accepting you uh, from society that is not accepting you then this is a good place to stay there because the property itself will protect you um, for some reason that that land over there that that exactly piece of land over there uh, it is connected to um, uh, Guinevere uh, from uh, the legend of uh, King Arthur um, I think she was hiding in that land, that specific part of the land. Yeah, most likely she was hiding there. Um, and that's why that's why this land is uh, is a um, protector of uh, of refugees. And it is attracting refugees, by the way. The people who have lived there, they've always, uh, they've always been um, the different ones, the ones that society should, could accept, but they're not. Uh, the society is not there yet. Now, to the to answer the question, and the question is really specific: Does anybody live in that? Uh, in that land, in that village, in uh, Frogmore Cottage, and the answer is no. Nobody is living there. So whenever the Sussexes are putting out uh, articles that so and so went to visit uh, the baby in Frogmore Cottage, nobody did because nobody lives there. When they are putting out, oh, they're you know uh, the baby is not letting them sleep uh, because uh, um, that's what babies do. They cry. Oh, uh, but, you know, uh, that's not happening in Frogmore Cottage. So, to answer the question, no, uh, the Sussexes, Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, Archie um, Harrison, none of them live in that piece of land. So, I'd like to thank, really, the... Uh, 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 the, um, the spirit of, of the land and the spirit of the house there for uh for showing me all of this especially with uh, uh guinevere and the type of and purpose of uh of of the land there uh of, you know it, it's really a land for protection of refugees um and um and that's what the land and, and the house can serve best uh, um really uh but no nobody is living there so let's delve into some other things that may or may not be true about Meghan Markle. Talk to you in the next video. Bye!